What's up guys, my name is Joe here, and welcome to episode 21 of my Hidden Gems in FM15 series. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at that Ladislav Kritschke, the 21-year-old Czech Republican left midfielder slash winger who currently plays for Sparta Prague. Um, first off, before even commenting on any of his attributes, all of that aside, Ladislav is just such a great name, I just have to get it out there as part of the reason why I like him as a player so much. Uh, come on, Ladislav. Anyway, he's only 21, and he's already been capped eight times by his country, which is a great achievement in itself. And he is a really top quality winger, one of my favourite ones to sign for, for any top tier team really. If you look at his stats, even at the start of the game, some of these stats are incredible. 19 flair, you could probably train him up to do some overhead kicks or something similar to that. That was great first touch, 16 first touch and, and 16 dribbling. All his stats are genuinely just really good well rounded stats that make him yeah, a great winger just generally. You could probably train him up to play in the centre as well. Another good thing about him is um, he's only uh, about 5 million at the start of the game. And he it does say here that he'd ask for a lot of wages, but that's uh, I'm using Arsenal as a trial. I believe he's on quite low wages at the start of the game. So, yeah, as you can see there, 2.9k a week. So, it should be no problem uh, negotiating with him. He's extremely interested in joining the club. Obviously, Sparta Prague... Don't mean offence to them, but they're not really as good as a Prem team. So if you were a Prem team, you could uh, lure him over, probably no problem. Um, ability to do the unexpected, as I said, that 19 flair really is is a great, you know, something that you can't really train. You just can beat a man, which is always great to have in your team. Bring him on for the last 10 minutes, see if you can make a difference. He's already a good signing for most Premier Division sides for uh, only 21 years old, and he has potential to be a leading. I often see him um, going to like a mid-table team and then moving up to one of those PSG Barcelona teams for a, a huge fee for like a, a 20 or 30 million fee. So even if you're for some reason not going to play him, you can make a huge profit on him. Highly professional, always good as I, as I alluded to earlier, it's very skillful, uh, determined, that's what you always want to see. You want to see a player that's willing to fight for your team. Uh, already basically uh, has a basic understanding of, of English. So that's good, you know his language and all. Enjoys big matches. These are all great. Consistent performer. Can play in a couple of positions. I'm not sure about that one as he can only play on the wing. But as I said earlier, you could definitely train him up on the other side or through the centre. Maybe even have him as a false line. And he's a current international, which I said is is great for a 21-year-old for any country. And um, the Czech Republic are a decent country, so... Internationally, they're quite they're quite good. So to already be capped eight times, it's a great achievement. It says here that athleticism can sometimes let the player down, but I I doubt that. I mean, lack of any real strength that that might be a, a problem. But I don't really look for strength in my uh, wingers. In terms of lack of athleticism, maybe he'll get a few injuries. But 16 pace and 15 balance, you should you should do fine uh, in terms of beating a man, especially with all that skill. And generally, he's just a great winger. You can sign for most teams and he'll do a good job for you. But I, I never see anyone signing him. Um, he's linked to Prem teams in real life. I believe Newcastle are linked with him, or they were earlier in the chance window. And you can always just nickname him Lad, which is a great thing, because I can't pronounce that uh, that surname. Oh, never mind how you pronounce it. Lad is definitely a hidden gem. Thanks for watching. See you next time.